well, photography is very, very expensive, first of all. Very expensive. Hey guys, uh, welcome back for a new episode of Welcome to My World. Uh, and today I wanted to talk about something a little different. Uh, well, photography is very, very expensive, first of all. Very expensive. But um, people think that, you know, you just acquire the gear or you make so much money that you can afford to buy those gear. It's actually not true. I just watched a video on YouTube where he was talking about saving is the key to buying all the equipment, saving and spending less money. But I don't think that's necessarily the case. I mean, in a case it is true because you need to save. You need to have $4,000 in your account, $5,000 or even buying a new lens that costs $2,500. You need to save up to that amount. But what about for the people that can afford to buy expensive gear? Like me, for example, I'm not the richest guy on earth I don't have that much money available I do save up a lot I had to save up to buy my mark 4 it was four thousand dollars brand new um, but as far as other gear that I've acquired I progressed into it so how do I say this let's just say I wanted to buy a new camera like my second body right now is the a6300 which cost which cost me about seven hundred dollars but to get here I didn't just save up $700 and I bought that camera. Now, um, I bought, first of all, a GH4, which was about $500. I think plus shipping and everything was about $520. I bought the GH4, I tried it out, but I didn't like it as much. So what I did was I sold my GH4, added some money onto it, and bought an A6300 with a lens, which was about seven or $800. Then I went online, and I bought some additional batteries like three more batteries for about um I think 60 bucks and had to get an, an additional charger to charge all my batteries at once so you know it's a step-by-step -step process now I'm looking to sell my a6300 use some money on top of it and buy an EOS RP which is a thousand eleven hundred give or take and then when I'm ready, I'll sell it and buy the EOS R, which is going to be my final step with my two bodies, my Mark IV and my EOS R. So it can be done in a progressive manner as well. You might not be able to sell it as quickly as you want to because you're looking to upgrade right now, but those steps allow you in a way to save money because if you have the money and your other um, option will come around, other charges will come around, then you spend it. So acquire some gear that you need, keep it up for a little bit, then sell it and upgrade to the next one. Now, how do I go about selling my gear or acquiring gear? Um, I don't just buy a brand new all the time because it's going to be exhausting spending $800 hundred dollars and a brand new a6300 is eight hundred dollars without the lens so just to tell you that I'm not acquiring my gear brand new I'm acquiring it to other people so what I do I utilize pawn shops a lot every time I go somewhere I don't know or I go somewhere I do know I check out the pawn shop they have microphones for cheap they have lenses for cheap they have bodies for cheap they even have um, other stuff like Gay video games or controllers or whatever you need. And the other thing that I check for is offer up. Offer up off offers like different options. They even have shipping now. You can buy stuff and have them delivered to you if it's 500 or below, something like that. I also use um, Let Go, which is basically the same as offer up. There's also Mercury. Mercury allow you to ship item that you can buy. I think the limit is about a thousand dollars. You can buy it from another state or whatever and it get delivered to you within two to three days which is very awesome and i also use a facebook market so meeting people some item or and meet up at a spot then buy my whatever i need and then i leave you know so amazon and ebay are not necessarily the go-to although they offer better option and they offer warranties and everything if you want to acquire brand new gear by all means utilize those resources but if you're like me 
you're on a budget, you don't have enough money, uh, guess what? You have all those other sources available to you. And those are the ones that I use. There are probably billions out there, you know, that other people use. So, you know, sometimes you just gotta use what you have and, you know, level up the way you can. My goal every year is to better my photography and my videography, to change cameras, to change lenses. And the past two years, I upgraded my gear like four or five times in a year, which means that, you know, this system is kind of working and I want to keep it that way you know and I'm trying to help you guys do better as well that's why I'm offering you the chance to use the techniques that I'm using for you to develop your photography or your videography thank you for watching and I have one more thing so I am doing this giveaway thing where um, I'm gonna do music videos for free does that sound nice or not so new giveaway free music videos I'm gonna have inscription on my Instagram so I advise you to follow me and then you get the instruction on how to do it and how to win it and I want you to win we're gonna shoot this dope ass music video oh nah, that was a lot don't do it at home thank you for watching and see you guys next time